In the previ previous videos we've had a look at galvanic cells and electrolytic cells and you would have noticed that there are a few similarities between the two. Firstly, the electrolyte is a substance or the ions that conduct electricity within the cell. Within the cell we see anions moving towards the anode and cations moving towards the cathode. Oxidation occurs at the anode and reduction occurs at the cathode. And the electrons travel through the external circuit, that is the wire, from the anode to the cathode. So whilst those features are common for all electrochemical cells, we have looked at two distinct types, galvanic cells and electrolytic cells. So now we'll have a look at the differences between those two. In a galvanic cell, a spontaneous redox reaction produces direct electronic, electric current. So that spontaneous reaction is converting electrical energy, sorry, chemical energy into electrical energy. In a galvanic cell, the anode is negatively charged while the cathode is positively charged. In the external circuit, the electrons flow from the negatively charged electrode to the positively charged electrode. And a galvanic cell is usually constructed of two separate half cells which have their own electrolyte solution and the two half cells are connected by a salt bridge. By contrast, in an electrolytic cell, a non-spontaneous redox reaction occurs and energy for the reaction to occur is provided by the external power source. So in this situation we see electrical energy being converted into chemical energy. In an electrolytic cell the anode is positively charged and the cathode is negatively charged. In an electrolytic cell the external power source acts as an electron pump which drives the electrons to the cathode and withdraws the electrons from the anode. And in an electrolytic cell, the electrodes, electrodes are usually immersed in a common electrolyte, which means there is no salt bridge present. Now, rechargeable galvanic cells are simply cells that are a galvanic cell when they're discharging electricity. So they are using spontaneous chemical reactions to convert chemical energy into electrical energy. When they are plugged in for recharging, they're acting like an electrolytic cell. So in that situation, the electrical energy is being used to con convert it back into chemical energy. So a rechargeable cell acts like a galvanic cell when discharging and an electrolytic cell when recharging. So if we have a look at what happens at the electrodes in a rechargeable galvanic cell, when it is discharging, so when it's pr producing electricity, the negative electrode is the anode and the positive electrode is the cathode. When the cell is recharging, the negative electrode is the cathode and the positive electrode is the anode. 